a lot of the PCT especially, and then a lot of hiking trails, when they do the thing where they wrap around the mountain instead of going up and over, that creates a lot of side slopes. Um, and so side sloping will put one foot into a pretty pronated position while the other foot is fairly flat. And something we don't think about is moving where we're stepping on trail. So if we just let that foot pronate and keep it on the uphill side and just walk like that all day, even if you don't normally pronate, if you do that long enough, you can get some pronation related injuries and pains. And also if it was enough to break down your shoe where now you've got the the lean, the lean of death is what I call it, but um, then your shoe is now like that the rest of the time you're wearing it. So it's like you're walking on that side slope even when you're on flat ground. And so you've basically created a pronation environment all the time. Um, so when you have a side slopey trail, just move, move like walk over to the edge a little bit, change where you're placing your foot, just try to vary it as much as you can so it's not super repetitive. Uh, like consistent pronation um, but people do definitely pronate a little more when they're tired and you can tell sometimes if you're pronating so like if you're walking just like look at your feet <laughs> like look down and if it looks like your shoelaces are like making their way to kiss the ground on the inside that's what pronation would be so if that's happening you can start to consciously try to lift it up and there's some like arch drills you can do um like short foot i think we use that a fair amount in a lot of your programs right lee yep uh, yeah so short foot's great a drill you can practice if you're doing any single leg exercises and you can have your shoes off um you can put a pen like horizontal under your arch like this um and then if you start to pronate and you feel the pen try to pull your foot up off the pen but keep your <laughs> Sorry. Honey's greeting my partner who just got back to the van, so you might hear some some cries. Uh, <laughs> try to pull your arch off the pen and keep your big toe down. So that's a way to start practicing that in your training. And then uh, when you're on trail, if you're looking down, you're like, oh my God, I'm, I'm like tired and I'm clearly pronating. Try to cue that same engagement in those same muscles and keep your, keep your foot up or just take a break. That sometimes will fix you. <laughs>